In order to host our app, the first thing we need to do is get it hosted up onto GitHub. If you don't know how to use GitHub yet, go ahead and figure that out. But if you're gonna be deploying something, you should first learn how to use Go. Learn to walk before you run. Now, once we have this hosted up on GitHub, we need to make sure that there are a couple things present within our server. This example is just gonna be a literal Hello World app from Fiber. This is basically just the Hello World in their docs, but I am adding two little things to it. First thing I'm gonna be adding is this special route that's just gonna be showcasing environment variables. So os.getenv, testenv, we'll touch on that in a moment. Next thing is gonna be the port. We need to make sure that we're getting the port from our hosting provider. So in this case, we're gonna be using Railway and Railway will expose a certain port for each instance and it's dynamic which one it'll be, it's unpredictable. So we just need to make sure that we're reading from Railway what port it wants us to expose our server on and then actually expose said server on that port. And the final thing I'm gonna be changing down here is I'm doing, I'm listening on 0.0.0.0 instead of 127.0.0.1. The reason for that is just because that's what Railway prefers. And if you try and just do this base like colon port, it'll yell at you on railway sometimes so i just always do 0.0.0.0 still localhost still does basically the same thing and with all that done we can go ahead and actually deploy this so how do we do that it's stupid easy we're gonna go into railway i'm gonna hit new project i'm gonna deploy from a git repo quick host to go line we're gonna go ahead and add an uh, add a variable so remember we want to use this test env let's go ahead and go over here and do test env and then let's just say test uh, showcase so that's going to be our value we're going to add that in there and so that should mean that we get when we go to the slash env root we should get hello env and then the test env so with all that done we're going to be redeploying we can go into our deployments right here and we can see i have this commit right here it uh, shows the most recent commit to the most recent uh to main which is switched host so i had to fix a quick little thing when i was doing this it'll go ahead and build it and once it builds it it's going to be smart enough to know that hey you probably want a domain for this uh and it doesn't automatically do that so we could add it here or if you don't get this message you can go into settings and then just go ahead right down here and just enable this we're just going to enable this real quick and then now this is going to go ahead and run so now that this is done it's exposing the service to the internet you can go back to our deployments view the logs it'll show us within build logs perfect it built the docker container under the hood railway has some really cool stuff that they're doing with like nix packs and stuff uh, maybe do a video on that at some point but right there they're going to build it for us no docker required no config required no setup just it's a go app put it in there and it will just work deploy logs right here perfect fiber is up and listening and then if we go right here click on this url open it up and hello world exactly how you would expect Expect. So like I said, this is a stupid simple example. We also have our ENV example right here. So hello ENV test showcase. If I change the environment variable, it would change that route. Hopefully this helps you out. I know there's literally two minutes to get it in production, but I want to show you that. Tomorrow I have the full uh, better backend stack type thing v2 coming out been working really hard on that had a lot of work to do there but that will be coming out and i wanted to get this little prereq video out because this is how i'm going to recommend deploying that so with all that said thanks for watching make sure that you're subscribed do all that stuff and i'll see you tomorrow